before me is a control forge by uh, Rossum. Just getting familiar with the features. Man, I really love this thing. So right now I'm just kind of getting familiar with all the different things that you can do with each preset. Like right now I'm I'm in the transitional shapes for each one. Right now I'm on transition number one. And I can adjust the pitch. I can adjust the um, the speed. Make it go longer. See how it's transitioning. And I can change the shape. And there's a lot of different shapes in here too. even got like a chaos sort of like noise but now if I want to go to step number two the reason why it's not going anywhere because I got step number two all the way down to zero so it's not gonna it's not gonna move it's just gonna be stuck on one but if I change two to any number See, now it's moving back and forth, one to two, one to two. And if I go to three, and go to four, you see how I increase the time? And I can go all the way to number eight. And I can make each one have additional transitional shape. Let's just fool around with some of them. Make something chaotic real quick. Just to give you an idea which most of you guys probably already familiar with the uh, Control Forge and what it can do. I'm making them as short as possible so it can transition as quick as possible. But that one's long. See how it's going through it quicker now? Let's make them a little bit longer. Let's just give you an idea. So now, I already have a couple of these saved. You can save it from A to Z, and then you can go to program mode, and you can tell it to play A two times. You can tell it to play whatever three times. All you gotta do is just basically, then you go to the next one, and then you can program it to how many times you want it to play, and you can load your own song. You can create a, your own song. So this is what I got so far. I call this test. I gotta put it in play mode though. All right, now when I go to program or load. That's my little program I got. I mean, it's no big deal. It's just a bunch of glitchy noise, but you get an idea. So let's dive into it a little bit more. Check out some of the presets that I created. Let's do some tweaking. And let's create some sort of droney, abstract, glitchy music. So we we'll hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. And we'll talk to you guys at the end and give you my thoughts.
the mutable warps. This is my first time actually doing this. Wow, I had no idea that you can actually... I, someone said that this had an oscillator built in. I never even paid attention to it. Thanks, Josh. I know you had emailed me and told me that, but I just never, I never paid attention to it. This thing sounds awesome. Let's load, let's load another program. Let's load that chaos one, that glitchy one. Yeah, I want to load that one. Oh man, this is nice. Yeah, and you guys know I love glitchy, glitchy stuff. I just can't believe I never really paid attention to this. Josh, I know you're commenting right now saying, Reggie, I told you so. <laughs> oh, I love this Control Forge, man. This, this thing is just... This brought my Eurorack to... Uh, brought it, made it alive. guys my thoughts I definitely recommend it it's quite expensive um, most people don't like to do a lot of programming through the uh, menu they want instant gratification but once you get the programming under control this is where I read on the forums Muff Wiggler you know Reddit um, Facebook most people say once you start to understand how to manipulate 
the dials and the buttons and you you can work your way around it. That's when it becomes rewarding. I don't know if anything can do what this can do. And on top of this, this is not really even called a sequencer, but you can use it as a step sequencer. Unlimited steps. You can create a song through the program mode. Look at that. As many steps as you want or as many songs as you want. You can tell it to repeat itself five times before it goes to the next one and make a whole song. Almost like the Analog 4 where it has a pattern lock on each step. And you can make it have any LFO shape on any of these steps. I don't mind doing the programming, believe, I'll be honest with you. I, I don't mind that at all because everything else is pretty much manual except the ornament and crime and this. Well, the MK4, you know, it's not that much menu diving, but uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As you can see my excitement in my new module. This is pretty much my favorite module of 2021, the Control Forge. Um, please leave a comment below, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next week on another episode of Patching for Noise. Oh, got to get focused here. One more time. Oh, look at that bad boy. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you guys next week. Thank you.